Alright, welcome back to part three of Campaign 6, Sectarian Conflicts. I'm your host, Vernity Void, and last part, in part two, we saw a lot of changes, a lot of a lot of good wars uh, between, like, Syracuse and Sotohan, and then there was one, there was, there was a few changes over here in Southeast Asia, but really nothing huge. Bengala got eliminated by Trikalinga, and then what else do we have? We had a war by Yeni Mentesi, but that didn't go anywhere. Then we had Finland and Muram Nov dividing up Novgorod and Finland wanting to take over Sweden. So, uh, we had business to attend to, and that is the Protestant Reformation. So I was testing things out last time and went a little weird. Uh, I tried to... I, there was a scrapped recording before this. Mm. Actually, this is the scrap... Yeah, this is the scrap recording. So let me let me load back to uh, 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 the previous save where it's February first, not February eleventh, uh, because the Protestant Reformation. I tried to spawn it. In, I I rolled the wheel. It was supposed to spawn in Aquitaine, but it didn't for some reason. Um, so, but I, it would spawn in Jain for some reason. So I'm not sure why. But we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna pop this wheel out. Uh, minimize the window. Almost there. And there we go. That should be good. So we have the wheel here. It has all the Catholic nations in Europe ready to go. So let's just see where it goes. What it lands on. Okay, so Sligo. And if it doesn't work in Sligo, I will do a backup roll right now. Uh, okay, so Alba. So if it doesn't work in Sligo, we'll try it in Alba and see what happens from there. Um, I'm hoping it works, but I, I, I don't know. Event 2000, 2001. Protestant Reformation. Yeah, it doesn't... Why? So it's a naval, but it doesn't spawn any Reformation or anything. So if I do it here... No, what the fuck? I guess I'm just gonna go through these again. Is it? Because it's definitely not because of the provinces. It's because I, I we need the refer the centers of reformation. It's, I and I'm gonna put the vanilla tags in before the uh, um the custom nation ones. Okay, there. That's that's just fucking weird though. Like. So it won't spawn anything in Sligo or Alba, but it would spawn some. It would spawn stuff in Jain and Hungary, but also not Aquitaine. It's I don't exactly know why, but with that over with, the tags, the custom nations that specifically wanted their nations, or the players that wanted their custom nations to go over to Protestantism as it's enabled, they will get that uh, at about May first. I need. I just want Protestantism to get its foot in the door, you know, uh, before I switch them over. Give it to May, and we will do as such. Finland is on its way to kicking Sweden's ass. The Finns must be oh so happy to see this. <laughs> oh, I'm not muted, right? Oh, okay. My Streamlabs isn't pulled up. All right. And we're good. So King Hungary already went Protestant. And so we have the dual confederacy. They were they wanted to go Protestant. So where's it at? There we go. They are now Protestant. And then we have the Kingdom of Venice. They, too, are going Protestant. And then we have the Kachin Independence Army going for Protestantism. And that'll be that. With that out of the way, 
let's see where part three takes us. We're going to be going to about 1525. I'm just going to try and keep these in 25 year chunks. I think that's good pace. It keeps these to about to around half an hour so far. That'll probably extend about 40 minutes later on when things get a little bit more hefty on the system. Oh my goodness. Well, okay, so Sweden wasn't fully annexed, but, you know, Finland, Finland is encroaching. Finland grows ever closer. Each passing day, each passing week, the Finn grows closer. Uh, Kulso, kind of wondering if, like, maybe the Protestant Reformation is going to reach Fulda? Not sure. I also don't think it's going to reach Bude. I got it. it's it's Zoroastrian. It's doesn't seem like it would get any provinces converted. What is going on? Next song, please. Nope. Oh. All right. Isfahan still. Oh, they got their religion forced on them. Either that or they converted because the majority of the provinces. So Isfahan is now Sunni. Mazandran. The free Janissaries. I also checked on special forces. They don't have any special units recruited yet, unfortunately. But I'm hoping they, they turn that around in the future when they get more development and more provinces. I think in the future I'll delay the Protestant Reformation to like 1510. Give, the, uh, give more time for nations to get provinces. Ah, Lacedemon got independence. Interesting. So, Saruhan, new highs and the new lows, as I said last time. Unfortunate times, but they strut, they strutted their stuff. They tried, at least. Any wars going on? Syracuse is going after Bulgaria and Skipetari. Okay. Syracuse, they think they can keep it going. Queen Antipatra Dionysi. Like, I don't know. How, 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 how far can you push your luck? Macedonia. Ooh, if Bulgaria finishes that colony, that'd be a really nice chunk of land. Ooh. Demand, where's your... Nope, not that. Ah, okay. Best Arabia. Nicopole's about to go down, man. What's this conquest of? Gumu. So, right here. If Syracuse wins this and gets a strong foothold that isn't Byzantium, that's a huge threat to, like, Skipitari and then... Well, obviously, Bulgaria. And just really, like, any power in the Mediterranean, Eastern Mediterranean, because, you know, Syracuse is showing that, hey, their fleet is not a joke. Their army is not a joke. They can do shit. That's, like, that's really good fucking land. That's 25 development. Skipitari, where's your army? Oh, your army's right there. But where's Bulgaria's army? They don't have one. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Syracuse has that discipline on lock. And that's mer that, That's not even just... Like, what... Let me see this. What, why, where are you getting that discipline from? Aries. Ooh, okay. Is that the... That he's an advisor. Interesting. Make hay while the sun shines, Antipatra, because your air is pretty shit. What the fuck? That music kind of... <laughs> that, <I'm, laughs> that snuck up on me. God damn. But uh, I think Bulgaria's... Bulgaria's kind of knocked out. Still the only war going on, but eesh. Man. 
It's rough. I, I wish there was a better way out, man, but Bulgaria, it's, it's looking grim. Venice. I'll check on the religion situation after this war, because right now they're like, this, this is the most pivotal war right now, and it's the only war going on currently. I'm hoping like less of them on gets that alliance back with Syracuse. That'd be that'd be really good. But then again, Syracuse holds Byzantium, and oh my goodness! After that disastrous defeat, Bulgaria concedes, and there's nothing left. There is nothing left there. GG, well played, Syracuse on the up and up. Well played. Protestantism spreading fast. Protestantism spreading fast. Protestantism spreading fast. And so is Sikhism, actually. Trikalinga, tell me, what have you done so far? Yep, it's Guru Nanak. And then Guru Angad. So where is, where is Protestantism? No, no, the Protestantism is just chilling. Okay. They really? The Orthodox province? Okay. Kaffa. Katsina versus Oyo. West African politics playing out. Jolof got their uh, thing. They got their wheel decide thing too. And they got theocracy. So they are a clerical state. We will see how they develop. Bro, this music is actually going hard. This is not bad. <laughs> Welcome out to Colony. Is that a monopoly? Do you get the monopoly? No, it's just not high enough development or enough production to really make a difference. You kind of you need this, you need these provinces, man. Connect your lands. Algarve, they're going forth. Uh, if by the end of this episode, uh, if by fifteen twenty five colonialism doesn't spawn in, I'll go in the file and change around. Uh, the requirements for colonialism to spawn so that we can like re we can kind of get it done before 1550 hopefully I can't promise anything but I will try Ooh, so Syracuse is allied with the Force Shadow Kingdom Force Shadow Kingdom is also allied with Skipitari interesting Bude okay Bude is expanding they need if they take this province right here their borders will look relatively okay. But they also need this one right down here, too. It's whatever. Maram. Maram is expanding as well. Finland. The Eternal Finn. Oh, yeah, there was an error down here. Bali was no religion for some reason. I've, I guess I forgot to change them to Hinduism when uh, the campaign started. So, uh, between parts, I just changed it all around to Hinduism, because that, that's what they were supposed to be originally. That's their religion in the file itself. No big deal. I'm surprised Nanui is actually surviving. I thought they were going to die to Vaitrokoi. But, pleasantly surprised. Nanjiao, they're chilling. They got their movement speed. Hanjiao, they're chilling as well. Onangolia, how are you doing with Manichaeism? And then Pijin with Mazdaki. They're gonna be they're gonna take over a lot of Manchuria. If they don't if they don't encroach on Japanese lands, they don't get any friction, they might get an alliance. What's their government form? Hermit Kingdom, okay. And you have Tribal Federation. Interesting. Kachin, they are a military dictatorship, so, uh, yeah. 
Rejecting Buddhism. Ugh. How dare you reject the religion of the land. Then again, that's like all nations in this when they conquer a new land. They reject the religion of the land. Abharna is going for Nan Nantes. Or now Ned. Hey, Sligo is actually consolidating Ireland. I like to see it. Well, I guess if there's really nothing, I guess we can speed five it. Katina and Oya are duking it out, but eh, it's minor stuff. Religious rebels are rising up in Isfahan. And Syracuse is going... Syracuse and the Four Shadow Kingdom are going after Gabagoo and Languedoc. I don't know why I like saying that. <laughs> like Gabagoo. Uh, Languedoc has 20,000 on the floor. And that's 20,000 in the east trying to get after Syracuse's domains. Syracuse, you need your military stat. That's 34,000. But where are they at? Oh, they're being transported. Interesting. What do... Why are they down there? Okay. You need to beat the Gabagool Navy. In an... Oh, actually, they did. <laughs> Can the Fourth Shadow Kingdom muscle out Languedoc? Syracuse just burned down a colony of Languedoc. And honestly, like, you need to do something here, Languedoc. Ooh, good stack wipe? Good stack wipe. Okay, Syracuse taking down a notch. But 42,000, they're showing up. And they're showing up hard. Gabagool just can't do anything, though. They're, they're isolated. Their fleet cannot do anything, so... That's unfortunate. Languedoc, cut your losses, man. There's, there's really nothing here. As much as you can make them suffer with your fort defense and all that, it's like, it's not... It's not really worth, you know... That's, yeah. Languedoc is done and done. That's un unfortunate. Maybe Hungary remains the only, uh, only Protestant nation. Who knows? Toulouse is going to have to go down, though. There's not even that much attrition. Syracuse is barely feeling a thing. They got manpower to spare. Uh, oh, colonialism did not spawn. No borders changed. Interesting. Oh, maybe, like... I don't know, if Syracuse, like... Okay, Languedoc pieced out. And now it's only against Gabagoo. And Languedoc doesn't look like they lost any land, other than that colony that was in Ferrara. So, uh... Languedoc, best not to ally with Gabagool in the future, but it's up to you. Man, I don't know. If Syrac Syracuse can definitely navally invade, it's just a matter of, like, can they coordinate that? I'm not sure if they can. Damn. That uh, morale of navies plus 15% really does help. Gobblegool just... They're, they're, they're not having... <laughs> they're not having enough national ideas. They, they need more. 
Actually, let's let's take a look. Who's in charge here? The smugglers. You probably need the captains in charge, honestly. But that's just what I feel. Gabagool was pieced out. Nothing was really lost. But I mean, it's a stern lesson that hey, Syracuse is kind of the power to be right now. Mazandaran is going after Isfahan. Yep. Isfahan is looking to be annexed. And Golistan is almost done. Get Tehran next. Get Tehran. I'm also wondering like when Venice is actually going to uh, fight with Repan. That's going to be really interesting when that happens. But where is your colony at currently? No, it's still Ningbo. It's almost done though. And so, same thing for Sulu. The Order of the Duck continues to thrive in Buru. Bali is doing their own thing. Vaitrakoi is consolidating the Strait of Malacca. Nanui is consolidating their own cold somewhere. Ah, uh, Quanjo. How's it going, Trikalinga? They can if they want to. I'm not sure if the AI does pick teachings. I, I, I don't know. Really, they, oh, the majority of their lands are Shia, but probably not, or Bagomless, what? How? How? I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how they, uh, is it the trade thing? No, it's not, right? It might actually be the trade thing. No, it's not. What the fuck? Then how did your land turn in Bogomalist? I'm not entirely sure. Because the Timurids did not lose Bukhara. Yeah, it was occupied, but... I have no idea. I I'm confused. If someone has an explanation, explanation for that, please tell me. Because I'm kind of lost. Ooh. Gabagool <laughs> can't catch a break. What the fuck? Is there a crusade against Gabagool? Let, let, me, let me see this shit. No. There's a crusade against Syracuse. Okay. Interesting. That's fucking hilarious, though. Papal Conquest of Cagliari. Everyone wants Gabagool out. Get this fucking Italian shit out of here. These shit Italian shenanigans. <laughs> the, the Dual Confederacy is allied with the United Nations. And, uh, Dual Confederacy allied with... Spe our special Forces are allied with Yeni Mentesi. But, you see, I, I just don't think there's anything that's gonna come of this. Like, let's speed five this shit. Gabagool, like, they, anything on mainland, they're gonna lose. But there's gonna be no naval invasion, so this is gonna go nowhere. It's, it's really that simple. Yep. Uh, it's gonna go nowhere. Syracuse is actually expanding their... Their hold in the Aegean Sea. I see that shit. I see it. So Syracuse is going after Aydin. They want to finish off Saruhan. Make sure this land is proper Hellenic. Properly Hellenic, I should say. Uh, oh, but Sy Syracuse is one man arming the armying this. Holy shit. Saruhan. Mamluks. Al Nasser, Skipitari. Can you do this, Syracuse? Or did you bite off more than you, than you can chew? 
Damn. I I genuinely think like Syracuse might be overextending themselves. Your your military is fantastic. Your navy is fantastic. But it's a four nation alliance versus one. I ooh. This is a real test of the AI. Uh, well, Zorm uh, improved AI at that. God damn. I might go to like fifteen twenty just to uh, keep the keep this part to around half an hour, like a, like thirty to thirty five minutes. Like that, I want it to be around that range. If that means I have to go fewer in years, that's fine. Just, I don't want these parts to be like previous campaigns where 40 to 50 minutes and it's just, it's stretching on and on. I also like it when the file size is smaller, that way I can upload it uh, in, a re in a reasonable time frame. Because my internet is pretty shit over here in terms of upload speed. It's not good in terms, like, 5 megabytes up. Or 5 megabytes? Megabits? Megabytes. Uh, 5 up and like 175 down, so I have very, very shitty internet for uploading videos. If I even had like 10 or 15 up, God, I'd be so just, yes, I need that, but. Our internet providers in the area, they suck ass. I don't know if you can hear anything in the background too. I can't hear anything, I'm wearing a headset. But uh, if you hear something, it's because folks in my house are waking up. So you might hear some stuff in the background. Syracuse's fleet. It's no joke, man. Syracuse's army is no joke, too. Sure, they may take a stack wipe, but it was a tiny stack. They still got so much left to churn out. Look at that shit. And the Four Shadow Kingdom's going in, too. The Four Shadow Kingdom heeded the call to arms, and so did Lacedaemon. Sarohan. This alliance suddenly, or this this war suddenly became much more in favor of Syracuse, because the Four Shadow Kingdom, 31k, lots of them on only 6k, but still, it's a distraction if nothing else, to uh, you know, let Syracuse and Fourth King, Fourth the Four Shadow Kingdom cook, cooking down here in Mentese, cooking over here, in what was Croatia cooking over here in what is Albanian heartland. Can you handle what they're cooking? This music is really not fitting for what's going on, but you know, we'll, we'll keep it. It's chill. It's chill. Ooh, if this can, this can be upgraded, that's fantastic for defense. Holy shit. Well, I mean, same thing for this stuff, too, but... We'll see. Protestant Revel... What? Oh. The Protestant Reformation reaches out. I'm just curious, like, how much is Syracuse going to take? I don't know if they'll take a Jirid, but they might. The Mamluks are like they've been taught a lesson too. Like, don't fuck around with the, uh, don't fuck around with Syracuse. Really, D don't fuck around with Syracuse. They are not to be trifled with. All right, that's peace. Syracuse, what did you take? So they just took they took Aiden, and Force Shadow Kingdom took that. But really, I'm not seeing anything else. To oh, they took a uh, Crete as well. So again, Syracuse consolidating their power, growing ever more with the Fourth Shadow Kingdom in tow, and less of them on. Like, but they're they're thriving too. Maybe they they might uh, be vassalized. I'm not sure. Who knows? Got two more years left. Yeah, two more years. We'll end on a, on a on a fine note. These are actually prime lands. Prime prime lands. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So the papacy is definitely going to have a really tough, tough, tough fucking time just dealing with Protestantism over here, ruining religious unity. <laughs> Katavalani is colonizing over here along with Alba. Maybe the maybe Alba gets a taste of the Protestant Reformation. Who knows? Oh, oh no! Reform just taken off. Oh shit! Interesting. Oh, Finland is allied with the papacy, but I don't know how long that's going to last, man. You're, you're about to flip to reformed. That reformation is uh, no joke. I'm sorry, I'm switching back and forth between Matt Mosel. I'm, just, I'm very curious to see you know, how things are spreading. It's, it's really interesting to me. Let's see, are they... Three Janissaries, are you in... in this? Can you enlist any Janissaries? You can if you want, but... You're not. I think they should, but... I don't know. Maybe they just need more land or more power? I got no idea. Alright, August of this year... will be done. We'll be chill. And there's no wars going on, so peace be upon this land, I guess. Buddhist borders are finally looking good. New, New Yugoslavia is actually not getting uh, beaten up on, which is actually nice. Because last time, like, in the test run, they were they were getting pretty pretty messed up. And usually, like, this area, like, around Berlin, the power that starts there just usually never survives or does really poorly. I, I, I don't know why. Oh well. Uh, good shit so far. No one got knocked out, I believe. This episode, I believe, right? I don't think so. Doesn't? Yeah, I don't think anyone got knocked out. People are just expanding as they please. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for part three. Protestant Reformation is taking off just nicely. Finland is about to go reformed, and you know, we'll see what happens in part four. Oh shit! Alba flipped. Interesting. We'll see how that changes things around, I guess. Because I don't know if Indonesia is gonna want to be allied with a heretic. Uh, the dual confederacy flipped to Protestantism, so you know they got that going. Wakamatsu colony. New Kosovo, Yenimentesi, you know, they're all chilling. Peace be in our land, peace be in our times. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for part three. I like keeping these parts to a little bit of a shorter time scale compared to last time. So, in first place, we have Syracuse. In second place, we have Algarb. In third place, we have Kralovec. In fourth place, we have Bude. In 5th place, we have the 4th Shadow Kingdom. In 6th place, we have Morong. In 7th place, we have Paradox. In 8th place, we have Indonesia. In ninth place, we have the Kingdom of Venice. In 10th place, we have Yugoslavia. In 11th place, we have Tsenkar Ord. And in 12th place, we have Skipetari. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in Part 4.